In a patriarchal society, women are supposed to quietly submit to oppression. That's their role. Well, it's a good thing that you don't live in a patriarchal society, because if you did, rather than making an argument against you, I would just be telling you to submit to me. Or maybe I'd be phoning up the king and telling him to dispatch the misogyny squad to put you in your place. We're supposed to accept crass jokes, innuendos, lewd gestures. If by accept you mean tolerate, then yes, you are supposed to tolerate those things because those are covered by freedom of expression and you have no right to deny those to anyone, even if you find them offensive. Physical intimidation, sexual assault, rape, and murder. After lewd gestures, you really amped it up, didn't you? You already live in a society with legal protection against people who want to cause you physical harm. There is no prominent societal advocacy for the rape and murder of women. Everyone knows that. What a lot of people don't know is that some women who've been forced to fill this role their whole lives can feel outraged when another woman refuses to play the part. It's called internalized oppression. Well, seeing as you don't live in a patriarchal society, this is actually just women informing you that you are being hypersensitive. There is no remedy for what ails you because you are a cultural hypochondriac. I've dealt with all the insults without making scenes. Now, that sentiment is being portrayed as the irresponsible or oppressed course of action, but a measured response is probably preferable to making a scene because, as Zarna herself should know, he said, he said, do you know what my name is? And I, I said, said what? And name. he said, humongous. What? what? Yeah. What? If you make a scene when no scene is necessary, you become an internet meme. She's so entitled. She expects to be safe all the time. No one should expect to be safe all the time. That is why you need to take measures to protect yourself. Because if you put your safety in the hands of people who want to do you harm, you're going to be harmed. But that's only a tangential point, because you're not even being harmed, you're taking offense. When I refuse to be silent, and I raise my voice, and I demand safety, it makes some women angry and afraid. A woman who dares to speak out in this culture of silence is a shock. When men tell jokes about their size, it makes some women angry and afraid. A man who dares to speak out in this puritanical culture of hypersensitivity is a shock. Women like you make us all look bad. You're making women unsafe. Women have spent their whole lives worrying about what men think. They're so used to being afraid. Then stop putting so much value on what other people think of you. The extent to which you care about what other people think of you is under your control, and there's nothing anyone besides you can do to change it. What happened to you wasn't even that bad. How dare you trivialize sexual harassment like this? It's called internalized oppression. Instead of protecting each other, the sisterhood is fractured, divided, leaving us isolated and afraid. The sisterhood? That's a rather ominous way of referring to all women. It's not just that what happened to you wasn't that bad. It's that what happened to you wasn't bad by any measure. Queer and transgender people are even more isolated. None of us can be safe in such a culture. What the fuck? None of that was related to the comment you were responding to, which was that you're trivializing sexual harassment, which you are, because you weren't sexually harassed. I agree with the men. That wasn't sexual harassment. You overreacted. Of course there are men denying that I was sexually harassed. They have to deny it, because otherwise they would have to admit that they've been sexually harassing women their entire lives. And there are women who are denying it, because otherwise they would have to admit that they've been sexually harassed. If what you experienced with Humongous was sexual harassment, the societal revelation would not be, Oh my god, men have been sexually harassing women all this time. The actual revelation would be, Oh, sexual harassment isn't actually a big deal. That's why people are saying you're trivializing sexual harassment. We saw the video of what you went through, and most of us concluded that what you went through was a non-issue. By giving the non-event you blew out of proportion the name sexual harassment, you are diluting the usefulness of the term. In a patriarchal society, women are always considered to be the problem. So even when she defends herself, she's seen as the aggressor. 
The man who sexually harassed me, he was hostile. Sexual harassment is hostile. He escalated the situation when he repeated his sexually harassing words. The security guards escalated the situation when they criminalized me. The cops escalated the situation when they attempted to intimidate me. The news station escalated the situation when they posted the video with sexist, dismissive commentary. The cyber stalkers escalated the situation when they sent me violent messages and sexual threats. Everyone is in the wrong except for me. My sensibilities must be everyone else's priority. Curtail your freedoms to protect my feelings. You're acting like a crazy woman when all he did was tell a joke. The word crazy is used to marginalize anyone the patriarchal power structure wants to shut up. Not only are women and people of color marginalized this way, but people with mental disabilities too. It's called ableism. Crazy isn't being used in order to silence you. Crazy is being used to describe your behavior, which in this case was blowing out of proportion a joke. What's especially infuriating about your victim playing is that while you're pretending to be silenced, you're actively trying to silence others because you don't think others should be able to make jokes or comments that you find offensive. And by the way, crazy isn't a mental condition. It doesn't actually mean anything except that someone is trying to silence you. If crazy doesn't refer to a mental disorder, and it's being applied to you rather than someone with a mental illness, then in this context, how is the term crazy ableist? It's a type of tone policing, and tone policing is what happens when those in power can't argue with what you say, so they argue with how you say it. Uh, are you a po? My brothers and sisters and queer and trans siblings, let us come together to heal, to grieve, to build transformative justice. If we don't help each other now, the white supremacist patriarchy will continue to keep us down. So let us come together to stand against oppression. Let us come together to end rape culture. That chick was really upset about something.